Magandang umaga po sa bawat isa. Ngayon umaga po ito, ang title ng ating devotional is Knowing God. Gaano na po ba kalali ang ating relasyon, ang ating pagkakakilala sa ating Panginoon? In the Bible, ay meron pong dalawang klase ng uh, salita o ibig sabihin ng salita ng to know. Yung una po na to know is yung intellectual knowledge or intellectual assent na alam mo siya dahil sa isang information Alam mo ang isang bagay or kilala mo ang isang tao dahil narinig mo ang kanyang pangalan, may nagkwento sa'yo kung sino siya, kung saan siya nakatira, kung ano ang kanyang itsura, kung uh, siya ba ay lalaki o babae. No? Yan ang uh, isang ibig sabihin ng knowing, uh, to know. Okay? Kilala mo siya dahil uh, meron ka mga information about sa isang bagay o sa isang tao. Ang isa namang uh, ibig sabihin po ng word na to know is yung alam mo dahil ito po ay iyong naranasan or na-experience mo siya. Ito yung tinatawag po natin na experiential knowledge. Alam niyo po ba yung pagkakakilala po natin sa Panginoon? Dapat po, ito po yung pangalawang Uh, binabangkit ko kanina na uh, definition ng to know. This is experiential knowledge of our God. Kilala natin ng Panginoon dahil hindi lamang po sa mga facts or sa mga information na nababasa natin sa Biblia, kung ano po ba ang ating Panginoon, kung sino po ba siya, at ano po ba yung kanyang mga karakter. Those uh, are the facts about God na makikita natin sa Bible. But, ngunit, ang napakaganda pong challenge sa atin ngayong umaga is kikilalanin natin ang Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng pag-experience natin sa Kanya. Sa ating daily walk with Him, sa ating daily meditation of God's Word and our prayer life. Alam niyo po ba na ang Panginoon gusto niya po na malaman natin. Siya po ay talagang matutunan natin at uh, masasabi natin na he, he wants us to be known by us. He wants for us to make time to simply seek His face. No? To get to know Him personally. Not only here, but here in our hearts. He wants us to uh, get to know Him, the nature of His love, and the availability of His presence. He wants us to know that He is always there to care for us, to provide for us, and to love us. In life, in death, and in resurrection, ng Panginoong Heso Kristo po, ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, God proved His longing to be known by us. Doon pa lamang sa ginawa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Nabuhay siya dito sa lupang ito. No? Nagkaroon siya ng earthly ministries. Nakisalamuha siya sa mga tao. Nagperform siya ng mga miracles namatay siya at nabuhay magmuli. You know, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, He took on flesh, flesh not just so He could save and redeem us, but so He could usher in a better, truer revelation of who the Father is. Sinasabi po niya sa John 17.3, Now this is eternal life that they know you the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Isa po sa mga purposes, kaya pumunta po ang Panginoong Heso Kristo dito sa lupa. Hindi lang para tayo isave, para tayo ay iridin. Kundi, ang ating relationship sa uh, Diyos Ama ay manumbalik. Ang, pagka, ang pagkaka uh, kailan lang natin sa Ama no? ay lumalim 
So, yan po ang sinasabi ng uh, Panginoong Heso Kristo. Now, this is eternal life. Binigyan tayo ng eternal life ng Panginoon that we may know the Father, the only true God. And, of course, Jesus Christ, whom God has sent. And, Also in verse 26 of John chapter 17, Jesus prays to the Father. So sa verse 26, I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you may have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. Jesus Christ during his earthly ministry here on earth Ito po ang kanyang isa sa mga uh, ministry na ipakilala niya. I-point niya ang mga tao sa Father in Heaven. All His miracles, His uh, ministry, His teachings, points not only to Himself but to the Father in Heaven. Jesus came that we might know the love of the Father. He came that we might have communion that is unhindered relationship with our Creator. Through Jesus, we have given uh, eternal life. And not only eternal life, eternal real access to our he Heavenly Father. And in the Holy Spirit, we can search the deep places of God's heart and grow in restored relationship with Him. Sinasabi po yan sa 1 Corinthians 2, verse 10 to 12. Sinasabi po, For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except the spirit of that person which is in Him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. God has made the way for us to know His heart. We can know Him in infinitely deeper and more transformative ways that we can know even Uh, like our best friend or spouse, like that, okay? The Holy Spirit, God Himself, dwells within us and longs to reveal the deep things of God in us. All that's left for us is to do, to do is have faith in God's ability to reveal Himself. When we seek Him, when we set aside time, to know the heart of our Heavenly Father. May we make time, make time to do exactly that today as we enter into this day, this whole day that God has given us. May we continually seek God. May we meditate on God's Word. May we continually pray to God this day. May we have a, a prayer life that is continual and may we be sensitive to the working of the Holy Spirit so that we continue to know God deeply in our hearts. Experience Him. Let's pray. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this devotion about knowing God, about knowing you. We pray, O oh God, that You would continually bless our hearts. Cause us, Lord, to long for you. To know you more, O oh God, through the meditation of the scriptures, through our prayer life, and through our Christian lifestyle. May we be sensitive always to your working in our, in our lives. And I pray, O oh God, that we will grow spiritually knowing you, loving you, and serving you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.
resultado dessas aulas.